Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we are going to be playing some Kumba, and I want to show you guys something. What I want to show you guys is, whoops, that Kumba Karna has a 6.06 .06 win rate in duel, which is uh something I I didn't expect. Like I know he's bad; he's like really bad in duel, but the worst god in duel, really. No, that can't be. We gotta play some Kumba. We gotta bring the win rate up. So that is my goal of today, is to try and get a win with Kumba. We'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, I just found this website. I, I hope it's accurate. Um, I think it's Casual Smite, and it has all the stats. You can kind of see all the Guardians <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> uh, I was surprised Discord is one of the worst gods, too. Uh, there was a point in time she was really good in duel, actually. Anyways, I'm going to start with Sands of Time into Bancroft. We're up against a tank, which is very good for me. Um, go some potions. Actually, go a little bit more health potions because I'm starting Sands of Time, which gives a lot of mana. Um, so I don't really need mana potions. And for Relic, uh, we'll get Sunder. Sunder's a good Kumba item, considering he just likes to Sunder you, and then you take increased damage, and then... Kumba just kind of uses all of his abilities at once. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, I'll try to fight for red buff. Not sure if it's worth it. Usually I go blue buff on guardians, but we'll see. Oh, I was trying to just get the minis there since he secured them. Kind of a bad start for me, won't lie. Well, let's see. Oh, why, why'd you take a tower shot? <laughs> you good, buddy? Never mind. This is a good start for me all of a sudden. And he's staying with a ton of damage. I think I stay and try to kill him here. Or at least get most of his health. Okay, got a shell. Nice. I tried to hit him and the wave. Alright. I think I'm in the better position here for the most part. Don't think I can take red buff yet. Because he's not low enough. Okay, he's a little fast. Alright, alright. I'm going to move my microphone a little bit. There we go. All right, he does back there. Um, I just used my abilities on the wave, but I should have enough time to take this. Uh, worst case, I have my ult and I can ult him. With Sands of Time, you know, have tons of mana, so don't got to worry about that too much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the buff clear is not Kumba's strength, let me tell you. Hmm. You know, now that I think of it, can you read a god's lore from in-game? Like, I can look at my abilities, but can I look at my lore? I kind of wonder that. I sometimes try to remember to show the abilities even for, like, one second like that. In case anyone wants to pause and read abilities. In case they're new to smite or something. I gotta remember to do that at the start of the video, though. So he's taking the minis to the left of the map. That's all right, because he's missing out some on some XP and gold. He went rage mode, so... I don't know. Not too worried about him right now. Just going to do some tower damage. Did he recall? If he recalled, he just missed an entire wave, which is really bad for him. Yeah, that's like almost if like getting a kill in duel when your opponent misses an entire wave. Really good. Whoops. Bad aiming there. He does have a uh, blue stone. I'm good. I'm not going to use all my abilities. In fact, maybe he'll try to dive me and I kill him with my passive if he gets too greedy. Kumba's kind of nice at defending under tower because of that. Let's see. If he stops my recall, cool. If he doesn't, also cool. Usually on Kumba Karna, I try to go double lifesteal uh, Bancroft's Typhons because it gives a huge amount of power. 
and I don't know, it gives a little bit of sustain. And with that, I feel like when you get really low health, uh, you can kind of turn around the fight with his ult and kill, which is good. But I don't know if it's the best build. I know Book of Thoth is nice for the scaling late game, but sometimes you don't have the option to build that. All I know is I'm probably going to need a lot of pen this game, considering he's rushing defense. Right now I have none. Typhons will give 10%, so that's good. Obsidian's also okay on Kumba, I think. I don't think it's an amazing item. I just I think it's all right here. Uh, he is going Shoguns, which gives a lot of attack speed, so I'm a little worried about that. My two's hitting for 100 damage, which is basically nothing. Now, of course, I can get Breastplate, too. I don't have to uh, go for the double life still. Oh, I can use my two to counter his ult. That's nice. As you can see here, I can't actually fight him right now. He does way too much damage just with his autos alone. And he's actually healing a ton from uh, his HP 5. So Kukulin, he doesn't have a mana bar, so any of mana he gets, or MP5, it's transformed into HP5 and health. So he, he actually has a decent amount of HP5. So even though he Kukulin doesn't have a heal directly, he's got a lot of sustain with those chalices and HP5. So maybe Divine Rune would be nice. Oh, that was bad of me. Might just ult him here, we'll see. My two's not great against him because he can just leap over it. He hasn't been doing that, but it can become a problem later on. We're both kind of half health. He's winning the fight, though, right now. Try to hit him with the minion because it does slightly more damage. Here with Bancroft, I actually feel pretty good about fighting, especially if I can sunder his shield or some or shell, his shell or something like that. Nah. Nope. I thought I could get him, but nope. We don't have the damage yet. I got red buff, but that's obviously not worth dying. Uh, Let's get Breastplate after all. Just because he went defense very first item, so I kind of need defense too. Plus, cooldown helps. We'll be overcap late game, but it's not a big deal. Getting my cooldown now is far more important on Kumbakarna. Because my cooldowns take a long time. Except for my ult. My ult's pretty short cooldown, which is good. Uh, spamming that ability is nice. Speaking to animals has its advantages. In terms of gold, I'm actually ahead right now. So, even though I got first blood, it's not not that bad. And that's because he missed all those minion waves and stuff like that. So it adds up. So. Yeah, I'm not I'm not behind right now. I'm actually a little bit ahead. Just a tiny bit. Try to hit him with the one instantly run. <laughs> oh, we got Toxic Blade, so kind of might abandon the double life still idea now. Maybe I do go Book of Thoth into a bunch of pen. He's about to go alt mode. That would have been a good time to ult him, actually, when he was under my tower. And then to immediately root him. That would have been really nice. Ooh, I missed that. Unlucky. Let's get Divine Rune next. I need I need Divine Rune. He's, he's healing too much just from natural healing. And anti heal does apply to HP5. Ajax said a long time ago it shouldn't apply to HP5, but I'm pretty sure it still does. One, one of those things. Oh, he's going for his blue buff. That's fine. Oh, he's actually recalling. What? That didn't hit him? All right. A uh, nice little trick with the Kumba you can do. I messed it up there. Is that the one 
uh, it'll shoot the minion whichever way the camera is facing. So if you're getting back to lane, you can kind of angle it to hit the front minion, but then hit the entire wave. That was obviously a bad example because I missed, but, you know. Uh, that's also a good time for him to recall because red buff's coming up. So now I just kind of want to try and poke him a little bit. He has both relics. I might get a horrific emblem. Maybe. Because he didn't get sprint. God, his attack speed's kind of terrifying. That's how you should build against tanks as Kukulon, I think. Auto attack is really good. His auto attack's late game. I, I don't know how I'll be able to stop it, honestly. Yeah, I can't initiate with my two, which is like the whole point of Kumba. Unless I spam it with my cooldowns. Alright, well, he used his relic and his ult. Um, I, I do lose my blue buff here, I'm pretty sure. Or my red buff, I mean. Alright, he's going for red buff. I go for blue buff immediately. That way he doesn't get both. So, at least there's that. Or I hope he doesn't get both. He might. If he jumps over this wall. Nah, we're okay. Yeah, if you can't get red buff, might as well get your blue. That way they don't steal both. Because that's a quick way to fall behind. Alright, let's recall. I can get breastplate and all that good stuff now. Can I get divine ruin though? I can't. Oh, yes I can. I just gotta wait. So now we have 40% anti-heal on our abilities. Oh, Relic. Let me get a Horrific. I do think that will be the play here. Just to kind of keep him away from me. We'll see. It might force him to save his ult for my Horrific, and then I just never Horrific, and then he's playing without an ult. So, who knows? Yeah, Executioner. Okay, so he's going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Wait for him to leap. Now we use this. Uh, I just don't want to get hit by the ult for the damage. He wants to hit me with the ult, though. Okay, he missed. I missed two. Oh my goodness, he does so much damage <laughs> just by existing. He also has anti-heal on his uh, one. That's the one where he thrusts his like spear forward. So that combined with Toxic Blade, I pretty much don't heal. This weird cat and mouse game where I can't use my two, <laughs> but he could spam his ability. Hmm. I don't know. Now I can use it. He's probably gonna try to ult. I don't know. For those wondering, I do try to wake up my opponent after using my third ability, the Yawn. And the reason for that is it lowers their attack speed and their movement speed for a bit if you wake them up. But if they don't, if they just wake up normally, uh, they don't have that debuff. It doesn't matter that much, but... Sometimes I just try to do it at the very end of the CC. Um, there I did it like halfway through, so which wasn't great. Um, actually might be able to kill. No, I thought I could kill him. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't yawn him in the... Oh, hold on. Please, 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 please. Dude, that would have been so good. I used the red buff. 180 launched it at him. I'm pretty sure it hit. It did. Almost killed him. Was so close. But it didn't work out. That's all right. I'm still pretty excited that it almost worked out. I'm going to get Obsidian. He only has one defense item, but he's pretty tanky. 
I think Obsidian will be worth. Did he steal my blue buff too? No. If I had yawned even like half a second earlier, the red buff might have killed him because the red buff won't wake him up when it's damaging him. And he was really low health. Or that might have scared him enough where I would have woke up in time. Like he wouldn't have been able to get through it. I don't know. But very, very close to killing him in that fight. Extremely close. Uh, also, I might I'm probably going to go Soul Reaver, actually. Almost certainly with his, what he's building now. Whoops, that's bad. Oh, he got the glyph too. Yeah, we're having to tower sit, but you can see how aggressive he is and how little I can do right now. It's kind of like I'm just trying to poke his health up or poke his health down, get him to like half health and then kill him in one go. But even last time I got pretty close to that. I didn't do anything. Like, in the tiny, tiny amount of time that he uses his auto attacks on me, it's the same amount as both of my abilities. So it's really hard to be efficient with poking him down. I also need a ward uh, Demon King at this point in the game. As far as Glyph goes, I'll probably go the Bancroft's Glyph. I think that's a good idea, personally. Now is also a good time to recall because nothing's really up. So I will recall two. Let's finish Obsidian. No I'm probably going to upgrade my Sunder here. I think it's worth. Um, might put one upgrade into that. Get some more wards. Uh, next item. Hmm. Probably want something with... Oh yeah, Soul Reaver. That's right. That's right, Soul Reaver. I think that'll be okay. I wish Soul Reaver was a tiny bit better, but it's not, so we gotta live with what we got. I'm hitting for okay damage. It's not terrible. Red buff is up, and we both know that. I think yawning and then using my two is my, my best bet. Like this, then that, and then not using my one yet, because <laughs> it's too dangerous. It's my escape. Oh, nice alt, dude. Nice alt. That actually really screwed me over. I ulted the same time he ulted. He got the CC immunity, so I wasn't able to hit him. I don't know why he uses his three so much. I feel like it's not helping him most of the time. I have my ult in 18 seconds. That's my adv the advantage of my build. Oh, but look how fast he is. Just with Toxic Blade. He's gone. Uh, I might be able to take Tower here. I would, I would take that trade. Red buff for Tower. Nice part about Kumba. I can just use my ability to run away. <laughs> Yeah, he's going double huge health items. Uh, Soul Reaver next item would be really, really good for me. Also, I'm really happy he doesn't have beads because pretty much if I get my yawn off, I don't have to worry about it. He is stunned for that like full duration every time. Uh, let's get Soul Reaver first, actually, if I can. Oh, I can't. All right. We'll get it on our next recall. Having 40% cooldown right now is pretty awesome. I mean, I could even go Bobble if I wanted to, but Bobble's bad. It's just bad in Duel, as we saw in my last few videos. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with trying Bobble stuff. I tried it a lot on stream. I don't, I don't, 
think there was one situation where it was genuinely better than just going something else. Ooh, he ran away. I actually thought he would commit to that. And maybe he still will, because I have my passive. Plus, I'm halt in 30 seconds, so like... I don't know, I, I feel like this is good to stay here. Especially if I get my Sunder off and stuff. Oh, Sunder doesn't pop that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that about Kumba. Did you guys know that? If you Sunder someone, they stay yawned. Learn something new. Alright, his ability's about to be up. So he's, he's probably fine. When I said he's probably gonna be fine, I thought he would leap over the wall. So... Was not expecting that. I have one minion and a dream. Come on, minion. I could die on purpose with my passive. No, that's not worth. I do get Phoenix here, though. Almost in all my videos, I get a kill, and then I can't take Phoenix. But I can actually take Phoenix here, which is awesome. Nice, that's very good for me. He's going Hydra's Lament last item? Okay. Uh, I think he should build a bunch of attacks with Kinsize, personally, and just go auto-attack. But um, with his build, I think I think we got this. I think my Soul Reaver is going to hit him stupid hard, and then we just win off of that. I can sell uh, Breastplate for something with 10% cooldown now if I want, if I think it would be better for me. Um, but I don't know. The breastplate's doing pretty good right now, so I'll chill with the breastplate. Even though I'm overcapped, I'm at fifty percent cooldown right now. Why does he not leap that? Oh, nice thorns! And by nice, I mean free thorns. All right, we run. He's going to go Rage Mode too. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid of me. Wait, Fire Minutes, Fire Minutes, Fire Minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. My phone. <laughs> I usually have my phone on silent, but <laughs> went off right at that moment. Oh, that was amazing. That's like as good of a Kumba moment you can get with the passive, honestly. Getting them to die to fire minions. I'm I'm happy with this game. There was almost a really cool play at Red Buff, but you know, pretty 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 cool game. Pretty fun game. I hope you guys all enjoy. And now hopefully I don't know how often this website refreshes. Uh but hopefully we will add one win to his win loss rate. <laughs> And then Kumba will be unstoppable. Anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys next time. Let me just show the stats real quick.